into the Spicy Book Nook, where we discuss all of our favorite and not so favorite dark and dirty book series. We're your hosts, Aj and Tay. So without further ado, let's get into it. Today we will be reviewing Neon Gods by Katie Roberts. Please be aware that there will be spoilers and explicit content for mature audiences only. The trigger warnings for this book include abuse, parental death, assault, attempted assault, explicit sex, guns, blood, and exhibitionism, and BDSM. All right. So pretty much a little short synopsis of this. It takes place in Olympus. And so pretty much our main character is Persephone and her mother, Demeter. Is that how you? Demeter. 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 Um, pretty much um, is forcing her to marry Zeus. And Zeus has killed all his previous wives. So instead of marrying Zeus, she flees to the lower city where she meets Hades, who everyone kind of just makes it seem like he's a myth, and pretty much she falls in love with Hades. Yeah, so this is like, um, I love Greek god stuff, so anything when it comes to, like, Greek uh, mythology, This um, was the first one, the first book I've read like this, and when I tell you, like, after I read it, I was obsessed. Like, I was like, I was like, oh my god, I've never, like, I, this was the first one I've read. Of Greek mythology in general, or just no, like dark no, movies? just like smut. <laughs> smut life. Because I was, I was like, this was this one I just picked up, and I was like, okay, let's see. And obviously, after I bought like the next couple of books, because I was like, oh, I'm hooked now. I'm hooked. So, what would you rate this one? Um, I rated this one like a five. Honestly, um, I didn't have anything that I wanted to change. Um about the book and so yeah a five what about you I also think it was a five I think like I um like from the moment I started it since they started it with like drama I love when they start the book with drama like that I don't want to read I don't want to read until like the middle of the book until like shit starts happening like I love when in the first couple of chapters it's like bam we meet our character we get kind of to know, like, you know, the other characters a little bit. And then it's like, bam, her mom, like, you about to marry this man. And she's like, I don't want to marry that man. I'm about to run the fuck away. I was like, yes, this is all in the first couple of chapters. I love it. Give me the drama first thing. Right. And it's like, Persephone was like this, just like super sweet girl. Like, it didn't seem like she was going to end up on the road that she did, like, at all. Like, I did not expect her to be as just like rebellious as she was Mm -hmm. and I mean but I mean being married to Zeus like the person who literally if you know anything about Greek mythology Zeus is just like the bad guy who like he seems like he's cool but like he really just be fucking everybody's life over and he's a rapist and he's just the worst and they kind of brought that over to this book which I was like okay so it's still in the same sense of who Zeus is and so like if I was Persephone I would definitely not be trying to marry Zeus and be wanting to get the fuck out of Olympus too and let's not even forget she literally had no clue that she was even in line to possibly even have to marry him her mom literally was like oh let's go talk to Zeus and then he just proposes and her mom's like yes she's gonna marry you like so one you show up to a party that you don't even want to fucking be at because she didn't even want to fucking be there because all the people in Olympus, all they do is gossip and they fake as hell and she didn't want to be around them. So she shows up and not only am I already at a party that I don't fucking want to be at, don't fucking like these people. Now you're telling me that I got to marry this murderer? What the fuck? So she she was like, I'm just going to have to flee. Like, I can't do this. I'm not about to marry this man. I'm about to fucking flee. And she goes to the lower city which she She gotta go through like the Styx river to get there which is dangerous as hell you pretty much get tortured on the way (laughs) to get (laughs) over there because there's a reason you ain't supposed to fucking be over there but she was running and Hades just happened to be over there and mind you at the time she still thinks this man is a myth she doesn't even think he's a real person and he ends up saving her and taking her down to the lower city and you know patching her up and all that all that like, I, from the beginning, I was like, Hades, big dick energy. 
100%. Very much so. Oh my God. He was just given all you needed. Like it was from the beginning, like I was like big dick energy. I know I know it. I know it when I see it. I know it when I hear it. I, I was mean, like, this is, this is him. And he obviously is like the self proclaimed bad guy, you know? And he really was just a good guy and really just didn't fuck with the rest of the 13 because they're not good people. Literally. And like, he, I mean, he was, he was so, he was an asshole, but like, he was an asshole in his own way because he was like putting up like his own walls. But like, for the most part, like, he treated Persephone with complete respect. He gave her whatever the hell she wanted. And, I mean, he, he was, he cared for her little feet. He was upset when she didn't eat. Like, Hades was that man, okay? And so pretty much they, she pretty much tells him what happened. And they come up with this little deal of she'll stay with him for three months until she gets her trust fund. And then she will leave Olympus. Because in the end, she's wanting to leave Olympus. She does not want to be there. Um, she's sick of they shit and so they come up with a deal that she'll stay there with him because in her mind she's like if I sleep with Hades Zeus is going to see me as tainted and so he no longer will want to marry me a side note Zeus don't give a fuck I was okay. gonna say for one girl Zeus just wants you as his slave he right doesn't care whether you fuck Hades or not he's like it that so in her mind that made sense because she's like oh he's you know a god so he's not gonna want to be with me if I've been with him yeah Zeus said fuck all that you need to bring your ass home bring your ass home bitch <laughs> and you out there fucking in public bitch and that shit was fine that oh my god that and so, so Hades pretty much Ooh. owns like what was it like a sex dungeon yeah, it was like a sex, dungeon, <laughs> sex club or something yeah like a sex club so you know there's different rooms of people doing different stuff and some of the rooms are made of glass so you can see people fucking some of the people is just fucking boom right in front so you could see and so he kind of introduces persephone until his little you know his little sex cave and, and so i will say like when it got to that part i was hooked I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, I, I, was like, I, I knew that. there was something else. I knew there was something else. Okay. I knew there was something else. And that part was like, it was good. And I will say like her writing, she is very descriptive. So it's like everything, like you can literally picture everything. You could picture what everything would look like. Like it, it was great. Yeah. I was sitting there like, I'm trying to see what that be like, because <laughs> um, that shit was um it was interesting i'm like i i feel like i would not be opposed to like trying something like that because i just like i said i did not expect that from persephone like the vibe she was giving me was very reserved and like just like you know like she was still like strong enough to run away but i didn't see her being you know uh practicing like voyeurism you know she she was like okay eyes all on me like and I was like this this may not be a bad idea I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I was like okay like at first you'd be like okay this is weird but I guess it's just when you're in that type of environment and everyone is just so sexual you might be like okay this ain't so bad and I think also probably like she just felt like I feel like Hades energy just like radiates off of him and so she just felt like even if she did anything with him in front of people like she wasn't really f thinking about them like she was like I'm just all about this man that's in front of me I'm like when you read the original like Persephone and like Hades story like it's you know <laughs> Persephone was like submissive and like she you know she end up staying down there because she fell in love but I like this because they both fell in love like it wasn't like she was forced or felt forced to stay down there like it was a mutual thing between them and I mean she even had her reservations on why she stayed which like that happened at the end of the book where she was like shit I have sisters and like Zeus is an evil bastard and he might hurt my sisters 
Mm-hmm. And so, like, I liked how she was like, I liked how their relationship was very much equals. And I think there was even a line where he was like talking about like how he wanted to be equals with her. And I was like, that is my man. Okay. What was your favorite sex scene? Mm, don't know. I will say mine was. I will say I liked the, okay, so, you know, obviously Hades, he has a throne because he's one of the 13. And so my favorite, absolute favorite fucking scene was one, she was giving him head in the throne and then he switched with her and he put her on the throne. And even she was nervous because she's like, what are you doing? Like, I'm not supposed to be sitting in your throne. And baby, he just ate her up in that throne. And I was like, yes. That was like the one scene where I was like, okay, I'm losing my mind. This is amazing. This is great. And he very much was telling her pretty much fuck them people. I don't care. Like, you're my queen. So I'm about to put you on this throne. And I'm about to eat you like dinner. And it was great. So that was probably my most favorite scene. Um, He definitely, Hades definitely has big dick energy very dominant like his vibe they made him very dominant but also he was very sweet and attentive to her which I loved and it was very much like he was so scared to go there with her because he kind of it was like once he started feeling her he was like oh god this is not good because she's we only made this deal for three months um because pretty much Persephone was ready to leave Olympus and so she was just waiting three months so that she um could what get her inheritance or something yeah she was gonna get her inheritance and i believe she said she was gonna go to california yeah this like modern version of olympus didn't want to catch feelings for her but he just he fell for her and they had to it was great but the sex scenes in this book chef's kiss spicy okay fucking kiss like just Amazing, amazing. Ten I did find my favorite one. I definitely did. So I went back and I was looking through and I was like, okay, there was a time and I think you were just about to talk about it, but Persephone was talking about, um, or she was like on her knees and she was like, tell me what you want me to do to you. And she was like, you don't have to, you know, be afraid to do anything. I can handle it. And he told her he was like I want to fuck your mouth until you cry and and then he started fucking her mouth until she cried and then she like started to like close her eyes and he was like uh uh-uh, uh don't do that look at me while I fuck your mouth and witness what you're doing to me and I was like oh that part was I, was I like, like that I was like yes yes, yes daddy. okay Literally. He was very, very stern. Very, very stern. I was like, okay, Persephone, that's your man, girl. That's your man. That's your man. That's the type of treatment you need, okay? That's what you've been looking for. Because if it was Zeus, he probably would have killed her by now. Yeah, it was giving. It was was giving. I I, I was here for it of the book. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But I did have another quote. Where was it? Let's see. I see, I found a quote that I liked that was like really cute that I enjoyed, but it wasn't sexy. I know you'd be okay. looking for what all the sexy. Um, I liked, you know, because like they were going through like the emotions of like falling falling in love with each other, but they were like knowing that it was not going to be forever. Mm-hmm. And Hades like actually said something that like really broke my fucking heart. Because he was like, suddenly I want to, I want this winter to never end and want spring to never come um, for her to like stay here forever. But there is no forever. And I was like, oh my God, that hurt my fucking heart. Mm, Yeah, he really like started to fall for her. And I was just like, I swear if they don't end up together, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Like, that's what I was thinking when I was reading the book. I was like, I swear if they don't end up together, I'm going to be so fucking upset. <laughs> like, well, because, I mean, like, the passion, like, she wrote their passion just so well in the book. Like, it was amazing how, I like how, the good, way how good, good her writing together. was. And you could literally, like, 
imagine everything as she's writing it's like one of those books where you're literally in the world and you can imagine everything that's going on like it's like a movie playing in your head pretty much absolutely it was it was well written I I really like this one I think um I even like the little like backstories that they were telling like Hades like not understanding if he was even friends with the other members of like the 13 because there's like the 13 gods or whatever and uh, who was it? Was it Dionysus and Demeter? That was his, uh, that were like breaking into his house and shit. Uh, Dionysus and Hermes. 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 Yeah, they, that little relationship was cute. I just really felt so bad for Persephone because it just seemed like she's like just wanted out of this damn world that she was living in. Like she wanted out of Olympus so bad. And I just really felt bad for her until she found Hades. And I was like, girl, you better not leave. You better stay there forever. Okay? Forever. Because I'm like, this man love you. This man gonna protect you. Like, you ain't gonna have these other problems you was having before. And it was it was good. I will say my favorite quote was not a heartfelt quote. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my absolute favorite quote. It's just one of them. Um, it was... He said, um, when you're free and chasing that dream of a life you want, you will remember how good it felt to be filled by me, little siren. Oh, like, yes. Because he's like, you could go wherever you're going to go, but you won't remember me. And I was like, yep, that that sounds about right. Like his vibe was giving like just undeniably great sex that you wouldn't forget. That was just the vibe he was giving. So I was like, that that makes sense. That and then when he told her to put her hands on the headboard and not move them. Yeah, like that, that, that gets me every time. If I read a book that either says crawl to me or put your hands on the headboard and don't move, like you got me, you got me. I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's really all it takes. I'm sold. Said, I'm on the floor or my hands are on this board. Literally, okay? I'm all in. I am all in from that point. So <laughs> that was also a really good point. And I just feel like they have great sex. Like, I feel like sometimes in the books, the sex scenes, like, as they develop, they're kind of written like, eh, you know. But I feel like every sex scene in this book was written just so well that, and it wasn't like cringy. Like, none of the scenes in this book were like, ew, this is cringy. Like, they were all just grade A sex scenes. They were great. Um, I'm glad that Hades didn't kill Zeus. Because, mm-hmm. like, he really had this, like, I don't want to have Persephone viewing me as like this evil murderous person because like she kind of like already like got to see his scars and was like I accept you for who you are and he didn't want to like alter that like vision of himself I guess and so I'm glad that he didn't have to take Zeus out and I'm glad that it happened the way that it happened because Mm -hmm. fuck Zeus I did want him to kill him but at the same time uh yeah yeah, this book also was just very, um, like, the plot was there. Plot was there. So I, I think that's why I rated a five is because sometimes, you know, the spice be there, but the plot be eh, kind of lacking. But I really felt like in this case, like, it was, like, overall just such a great book. And it made me, like, after I read this book, I think I bought, like, five other books by Katie Robert because the writing was just so good I was like I will read literally anything this woman writes I don't care what it is I'm gonna read it no because I was really excited to read Electric Idol um next which is the next book that we're gonna review but after reading this and then knowing that like you I think you told me that it was not the same story each book it was Mm -hmm. a different person's story and I think the next one is one of her sisters um I believe I might be yes. wrong. But this one was like overall I would a million times recommend this book. Like especially if someone is like you know wants a spicy book but not really like a dark romance because I wouldn't say this was a dark romance. This but if you are like looking for something to where you're like okay like I kind of want to get into dark romance or just romance spicy books in general like this was 10 out of 10. Yeah, it definitely gave all the spice. I definitely loved every spice scene in here. Absolutely. 
they were great. Yeah, that, I think they were well described. And then also like just having sex in front of like the public. And then for like, real, those scenes were like crazy. I was like, what? And okay, knowing girl. that, like, it's going back to Zeus, like, the man, you're just like, oh, I don't like him at all. So I want him to know I'm out here fucking his enemy. Like, that's great. For real, like, ooh, I was like, Zeus, that's crazy. And she really was like, I don't care. Like, I do not want to be with this man. Like, I'm going to do everything in my power. And I love that for her because I was like, Zeus, trash as hell. So... <laughs> This is the worst. Her mama was not fit either, though. Like, yeah. And her mama became a little bit better um, as time went on. But once the story started, I was like, you basically sold your daughter off. Like, you was just like, fuck it. I mean, I know Zeus was powerful and probably would have killed you. You would have said no, but you still a hoe. Yeah. No, I wasn't fucking with her mom. Really wasn't. Really wasn't fucking with the mom. Eh. She was, like, really not shit. Because I'm like, how are you going to sell your daughter, pretty much, to some man that kills every wife he has? Literally, all his wives is dead. All of them. All of them are dead. None of them have survived the power of Zeus. And you are just like, hey, daughter, you got to marry him. Yeah, that's, mm -mm, that wasn't for me. But I think other than that, like, the plot was great. The characters were really great. Her writing was amazing. Like, this was really just, like, a 10 out of 10 book. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed it. I would say I, w- I would give it a full five stars, definitely. Like, definitely. And then with the spice, it was five. I would say five and spice, too, because, girl. Yes. So, if you're into spicy books, but you don't want the dark romance, this would be a perfect book for you. And I would definitely recommend it. Highly recommend. Alrighty. Well, thank you for joining our episode. So tune in next week where we review Electric Idol, which is also the second book by Katie Roberts. Yep. Bye. See you next week. And it goes a little